Helen Mirren, 76, is undoubtedly one of Britain's most iconic actresses, having starred in countless movies and TV series, won an Oscar and 126 other awards alongside 134 nominations for her portrayals on screen. But Terry's one film that has stuck to her, and will probably continue to stick to her for the rest of eternity, and it's one she hoped to break free from in her new film. The Duke, which is set in 1961, follows 60-year-old taxi driver Kempton Bunton, played by Jim Broadbent, who steals Goya's portrait of the Duke of Wellington from the National Gallery in London. He sends ransom notes saying that he will return the painting if the government invests more in care for the elderly. In a new interview, Mirren spoke about her character in the comedy drama, the final film from director Roger Michel, who died last September. She plays Dorothy Bunton, a charlady who's married to real-life character Kempton. And Dorothy's drab, worn-down essence is a far cry from another very real but world-famous individual she portrayed back in 2006. Mirren appeared as Queen Elizabeth II, in an iconic performance that won her an Oscar, a Golden Globe, a BAFTA and a SAG Award, among others. The film follows the royal family as they try and deal with the series of events that happened after the tragic death of Princess Diana in 1997. And even thought she's honored to have had the opportunity, she was eager for people to see her in a different light on screen. Of Dorothy, she explained, I love the character and because the Queen is sticking to me like an old band-aid. While I am profoundly honored. She giggled. And I honestly couldn't think of a more interesting and profound person to be stuck on me. She went on, nonetheless, I am an actress and so I did want to break free a little bit. Mirren is also the only actress to have played both Elizabeth I and II on screen, as she appeared in the eponymous 2005 television series. But the Duke offers the opportunity for her to explore a different lifestyle as joyless Dorothy. Yes, it's frustrating for the pragmatic person who has to put food on the table, she explained. That's the position women have been put in so often, forced into pragmatism. They don't necessarily want to be pragmatic and realistic and practical but they're forced into it because if they're not, then their family's not going to eat, she told Radio Times. It's not the first time the star has played unglamorous women before in her long and esteemed career. Fans will remember her as DCI Jane Tennyson in Prime Suspect and a housekeeper in Robert Altman's period mystery Gosford Park. I had no makeup on and was very restrained, she pointed out, chuckling. Helen's full interview is available to read now in Radio Times, 